As for Mary Reed, her story before joining Calico Jack's crew started a little differently. For most of her life, she disguised herself as a man. When she joined Jack's crew, she started a friendship with Anne Bonny. Mary fell in love with a captive sailor and ended up in a duel with a larger experienced pirate in order to save her lover's life. When her adversary tripped up in their duel, Mary ripped open her shirt and exposed herself. The man hesitated out of disbelief, and Mary nearly decapitated him, leaving him bleeding to death still in disbelief that he'd been beaten by a woman. She finally married her lover, but it was short-lived because soon after the pirate ship was taken by Captain Jonathan Barnett. Along with Anne at the trials, she said she was pregnant. Mary was not executed, but sadly she did die in prison before her child's birth. Born 1775, Ching Shi started out as a Chinese prostitute. Her husband commanded a pirate fleet. Through his death in 1807, she became in charge of about 1,800 ships and 80,000 pirates. She created her own code of laws that had a strict enforcement. Commands were only given by leaders of the fleet. If a village normally helped the pirates, stealing from them was a capital offense. It was also a capital offense to steal from the treasury or to rape female captives. If a sailor deserted and was caught or was absent without leave, he would have an ear cut off. The fleet attacked merchant ships, but also plundered villages along rivers. In 1808, the government tried to stop Ching Shi, but instead ended up giving her more ships. Finally, in 1810, Ching Shi got a pardon from the government. She died at the age of 69. The last part of her life was spent running a brothel and a gambling house. The meaning of fighting like a woman has certainly changed. Myth Slashers Did pirates make their victims walk the plank? Well, it may or may not be true. If pirates did impose such a cruel and unusual punishment, it was only done rarely, and only one documented case exists. The belief that pirates made people walk the plank has been blown way out of proportion. Let's take a look at Sir Francis Drake. Francis Drake lived from about 1543 to 1546. He was a sailor for the majority of his life. Drake received much of his fame from his employment as a privateer for England against Spain by Queen Elizabeth I. He was also the first Englishman to circumnavigate the globe. In battle, he was courageous, quick, and merciless. His time spent privateering partly coincided with his voyage around the world. The voyage was the second ever of its kind and lasted three years. His most successful exploit was in 1579 while on the ship called the Golden Hind, which was fast, agile, rugged, and armed with 26 long-range cannons. A large Spanish galleon that he and his crew were able to take over was carrying the cargo of jewels, uncut stones, almost 80 pounds of gold, and 26 tons of silver. It was worth more than Queen Elizabeth's revenue for an entire year. The Spanish were enraged, but Queen Elizabeth had been an investor of the voyage and knighted him Sir Francis Drake. Afterward, he commanded more expeditions against Spain. His last raid in 1589 on Lisbon, at the time a Spanish port, failed in either the capture of the city or with Queen Elizabeth's instructions, and thousands of English sailors died. With this, Drake fell out of the Queen's favor. He retired, and later on he went on one last voyage where he died and was buried at sea. In the know! The Pirate Code of Conduct Arg! This be the pirate code of conduct. Ye better listen up quick. Aye, democracy. Democracy is the first one of all. Everyone is to vote on important decisions and punishment if you be bad. Anyone keeping secrets or stealing or being lazy or failing to clean ye weapons is to be punished very, very horribly. Any commitment is most important. Both of ye be staying on this ship until everyone gets all of his booty. One thousand British pounds or you not be not allowed to leave the ship. You understand? I want to hear an aye! Aye! There we go. If you don't follow this pirate code of conduct, the worst befall you. Myth Slashers Avast! Belay! Yo-ho! Heave to! Did pirates actually say these lines? Myth! Scottish author J.M. Barry wrote these lines in Peter Pan. His embellished version of pirates is how we mostly see them today. 
Pirates have been very prevalent in pop culture. See how many images you can recognize in this montage. The Pirates of the Caribbean film series has brought pirates back into the public spotlight. The franchise has grossed almost $2.8 billion worldwide. 